guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another Halloween look for you guys. It is something and someone who I've wanted to be my entire life and it's never worked out for me. I don't know if you guys have like Halloween ideas that you've always wanted to be and it just didn't come to be like for whatever reason. That was this one for me and it's Pocahontas, okay? So everyone has a Disney princess that look like them sometimes, kind of, a little bit. And like, I remember growing up, I liked a bunch of different Disney princesses, but Pocahontas was the only one that looked like me. So that was my girl, like, what's up? I'm Pocahontas. Growing up, I was called Pocahontas. Like me and one of my best friends, she's Mulan, I'm Pocahontas. Like that's still, she's still saved in my phone as that. Like I'm still Pocahontas to her. And I just like, I've always wanted to be this, but it's like, when you get to be an adult, you're like, well, my hair is not dark enough. And like something else comes up and you want to do something else. So like, I finally am just saying, screw it. I have blonde in my hair right now. I don't care. It's not dark enough, but I found this really, really, really amazing artist on Instagram who did like a full, like a Pocahontas glam moment, like with all like dark, like smoky eye, natural. And then half of her face, it looks like a uh, mosaic window like if you've ever seen like in a church like that mosaic glass like really cool so I'm gonna attempt to do that and I'm pretty pumped for this um, basically the mosaic part is just different colors of and shades of brown and I'll link the picture right here so you guys can see what I'm going off of um, but it has different colors and I figure like I can use different like concealers and like different colors of my actual makeup so the first stop the first step of this look is me doing like just a natural glam and then half of my face I will transform after that. So keep watching. Hope you guys like it. Mwah. This is Max Paint Pot. So I'm using it in the color Painterly and basically what I'm doing with this is I'm just priming my lids so that the eyeshadow that I do decide to put on pops and stays. Next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows so that they are done. And still to this day, I'm all about Anastasia's um, Dip Brow Kit. I'm using the pomade in chocolate. I'm actually starting to see the pan, like the very bottom of the gloss bowl, which means I guess I gotta go to the store and see if there's something else I like and probably buy that too. Now Pocahontas has some pretty distinct and intense dark brows, so I am gonna make sure mine are very pronounced. Next, just using Gimme Brow um, by Benefit. I like to add this just to set my brows and keep them in place. Um, it also adds a little bit of a tint and because I am wanting them to be pretty defined for this look, it's nice to have them stay in place. Okay, now for eyeshadow, I'm going to be doing, um, because I'm doing lots of really pretty browns, uh, I'm going to be using uh, Huda Beauty's Smoky Obsessions palette. Um, using all of these different brown tone, bleh, brown tones and like uh, maybe a little bit of the, the gold. I don't want to have too much, but I do want to have like a very um, darker featured uh, eye look. So let's get that going gonna go ahead and bring this all the way in. This is what I want a lot of my lid to have on it. It'll be my transition color for some of the harsher shades. Then I'm gonna be picking up some of this, uh, the next darkest shade, this brown down here. And I'm gonna be adding it to the outward part of my lid and then again in the crack right here. Okay, now I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of the darker shade and focusing it more on the outward part of my eyelid. And then picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, um, I'm just going to use this light color called Tempero just because it needs to be lightened up underneath my brow. 
And I'm going to grab this gold color. Let's see. And I'm just going to place that directly on my lid. This palette is like super pigmented and the glitters like are amazing. I usually like to press on like metallic glitters and then I'll blend it out because I feel like you get the best like color pop and um, just like stay when you actually use your finger. Not to say you can't use a brush, I just personally like using my finger more. Oh my goodness, this gold is popping! Okay, now I'm going to get a flat brush. This is uh, the Morphe 124 and I'm just going to dip into here and further blend it out. Then just make sure you're going back in and blending it so you don't have any hard lines. And right now, like I, this is why I like to do my like actual face makeup last because when I'm messing with like glitters, like all underneath here is now covered in glitter. So like that ain't best, like when you've already put on a full face of makeup. So I like to um, do that part last. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Rejuvenique oil. I use this as a makeup um, remover and just put it underneath my lids and get out all of that makeup that's just chilling underneath. So I can actually apply my bottom layer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be applying my makeup like I normally would. Um, I do like to color correct a little bit because I get red. Um, so I'm going to put some, this is by Urban Decay. Um, it's called Naked Skin. It's a green color corrector. So anyone who has like redness or rosacea or anything like that with a red tint, um, if you like mess with acne and you're like super inflamed, like I have a little pimple right here. So green cancels out red just as an FYI. So if you have any red, you can put this down green and that's going to cancel out the redness. This could be a Halloween look in itself. <laughs> okay, that's green. And then next I'm going to put in, um, I've used this so much it doesn't even have a label anymore. A Bye Bye Under Eye. Uh, by It Cosmetics is the best, like if you want tightening underneath your eye and brightening, I like to put this on before I actually put my foundation, just to have a little bit of goodness underneath my eyes. Okay, next I'm going to be using um, Studio Fix Plus. Fluid by MAC. This is color NC35. Um, I have been liking this one the most as of recently just because I feel like it, uh, <laughs> my skin tone changes all the time so I have so many different ones but I just like this formula a lot. I like the way it blends out. I like that it doesn't look too heavy but still provides full coverage. Um, so let's just go ahead and put this all on. Okay so on this side of my face I'm going to finish getting ready and on this side I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to continue doing that part last. So going back to this, I'm going to be using um, the Spring Bling um, by MAC Highlight Powder. I like to use this um, on my cheeks. I like the color. When you first get it, it has like a full shimmer coat over the top. You don't have to, you can just wipe that off. Uh, in this picture, it's pretty dramatic the contour so I'm going to be using a good amount of this and then also I'm going to be dipping in in a second and adding some blush because uh, she does look pretty pretty blushy so I like to bring this down blend in everything together and then this is the blush it's called uh, it's peach twist is the color 
Also by MAC. Oh, let me get a brush. I like to fake focus this. So contouring, you're focusing here. Um, also another point in your face, I like to focus around my, um, on the top of my head. And then also around my chin area. And then for cheek, you're focusing more in the center and then going up. So. Sometimes I do weird faces, I don't know why. But basically I just wanted, she has a good amount of blush and color in the picture, so I just wanna make sure I'm doing that as well. And then I might actually go back in with this brown. Then I'm gonna be um, using Dose of Colors, color is Soulmate to highlight, um, she's got a good amount. Actually, she's using more of a gold and this is more, uh, that actually this, this works, this works good. Actually, no, that's not. Let's use, let's use this one. This one is by Fenty Beauty. Let me see any more gold. Oh yeah, that's a gold. So. I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty in the color Hustler Baby because that's all I do is hustle, hustle, and hustle. And... Okay. Oh, a lot. Oh, yeah. Hit me with it. Perfect. Okay, then I'm going to just finish up my, um, my eyes. Uh, in the picture, she does have... It looks like eyeliner across the top. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm not feeling that. Um, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more darkness and then underneath add some smokiness. So let's go back to the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. And let me get a smaller brush to mess with. Maybe grabbing one of the darker shades. Just focusing on the bottom of my lid here. Wow, I just stabbed myself in the eye. Classic. Now this Pocahontas has got like super dark like smokiness and I don't know if I want to use black. I'm not really feeling black with this, you know what I mean? I just want like some brown tones. But she does have eyeliner on and like all that jazz so I'm like should I add it? Should I? Yeah, I think I gotta add the black. I was avoiding it, but I think I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's get some liner. Get it popping. Oh, I'm so mad. I shouldn't have added the black. That was dumb. Now I'm trying to freaking fix this stupid bad eyeliner that I had. And now I gotta add more black up here. Just to blend it all out. You know, we all make mistakes. It is what it is. I think we just need to fix this, put some freaking mascara and call it a day. Seriously, let's just go with this side.
Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Can you paint with all the colors of foundation? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. The best part about this is these are all the colors that my face can be. But it's not really distinguishing in like each other. So like, ugh, I need more of a chocolate shade and I don't have that right now. But I know every rock and tree and creature. Great, I'll be singing this all day long. Here we go. Now we got some brown. Okay. I kind of look like a giraffe right now. Not really the vibe I was going for, but you know, I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. goodness y'all know when I go quiet I like them in intense mode okay so now she has like some pink lips and some a little bit of red not much but like basically three different tones of lips so let's put this one over here oh god All right, guys, this is the finished look. Um, I can't get away from this light. It keeps getting in my way and it's making me mad. I was trying to wait for it, but whatever. I think this is so freaking cool. It was harder if, um, it was harder than I thought it was going to be because I thought I had more variations in colors and I didn't. Thankfully, what saved the day was this um, little paint thing that I have here. 
Oh shoot, that's leaking everywhere. <gasps> oh man, I'm so good at making a mess. Um, this little paint thing saved the day. But like I said, I've been wanting to do Pocahontas for a long time. It's something different. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment or a thumbs up, preferably both. And for sure, subscribe. I know a lot of you, you guys watch my videos, um, but haven't really subscribed yet. So I'd really appreciate if you do. Stay tuned for maybe some more Halloween looks. Bye.